Hey everybody, I hope y'all had a great Thursday. Um, I'm not going to take up too much of your time tonight. I just wanted to jump on here and go over some uh, oils to have on hand in case of an emergency. Um, we all know those come up and uh, it's nice to have some oils that you can have on hand whether you use a product that's full of synthetics that our body doesn't know how to use and these work very well with our body and can give us some great benefits as well. Um, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> I'm a little congested. Guess all this pollen going around, um, but I'm actually doing a lot better than I used to be doing. Uh, I'm going to tell a little bit of my story real quick and tell you about why I do Terra, and then I'm going to go ahead into the um, emergency oil kit you need to have on hand. I started using essential oils about probably about four years ago and, because I had allergies. I had developed them late in life, and I ended up I was going to the allergy doctor, I was taking allergy shots, I was take, doing Flonase every day, Singulair and Allegra. So I just felt like there had to be a better way. I was spending a lot of money in co-pays for the serum and going and having somebody give me the injection, taking time off from work, plus I didn't like the fact that I was having to take so much. So I had done some research and then some people that had used essential oils. And I did not start out using doTERRA. I do only use doTERRA essential oil now. Um, I've been strictly using doTERRA since last September. Um, but before then, I used the oils that you just bought off the internet because I thought they were just as good. And, I mean, they did help. Um, but the longer I got using the oils and the more I started using them, I realized that all oils are not created uh, equal. So I did some research, and I felt like doTERRA had the best was the best fit for me um, and everybody has to decide what is the best fit for them but the, through the information I found um, I'm going to share that that this FDA does not regulate the essential oil industry uh, took me a second to think of that I'm sorry I'm a little my brain's going a little slow tonight I'm a little tired so since they didn't, what that means for you all is when you go out and purchase oils off the internet or at any of the stores that you can do now, they sell them everywhere now, um, that only 10% of the bottle has to be pure oil for them to say that it's 100% pure, it's therapeutic, grade, um, organic, whatever you want to call it. So doTERRA came up with their own little little certified therapeutic grade. I'm trying to get it up there so you can see it. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of a glare. You can see it right there. So they came up with this protocol and they put their oils through. Hey Beth, I'm glad you could join me. They put their bet, their oils through a series of tests because they want to make sure every drop that you get in this bottle is pure. Hey Miss Susan, I'm glad you could join me that every drop is pure oil. Now this is a 15 milliliter bottle. This is lavender. I am gonna talk about this tonight. And this has about 250 drops um, in the bottle of oil. But they wanted to make sure what you were getting is pure. Now, doTERRA is a very transparent company. They want you to know what they're doing. So on the bottom of every bottle, I'm sorry y'all, I'm struggling tonight, of oil, and I think you can see it, there's a glare, but there's an expiration date and there's also a coded number on there if you all can see that number. There's a website you can go to, it's called source youcom You can put that coded number in and it's gonna tell you the series of tests and everything this bottle of oil went through to get to you. They do third party testing. There's also studies where there's actually several hospitals. I've shared that on my Facebook page. There's one in Florida. Uh, there's Vanderbilt uh, University, and there's some actually some hospitals in Virginia um, that use essential oils, and they uh, use doTERRA. So I was really excited to learn that because they're learning about the benefits of essential oils. Now, essential oils are the most potent form of plant-based medicine. They are transdermal, meaning they can pass through the skin and get to your cells, so they work on a cellular level. They come from the bark, the stems, the root, um, the rind of fruit, uh, and again, they're the most potent form that there is. They're much more potent than herbs. You hear a lot about herbal medicine, and I'm going to give you an example. This is peppermint oil, and if I can get it turned around right, it'll fill up my cameras backwards. There we go. Now, a lot of people drink peppermint tea for the therapeutic benefits. Uh, 
they're so potent that only one drop, you only need one drop of peppermint oil, and that would be equivalent to drinking 28 cups of peppermint tea. So less really is more. You don't have to use a lot to get the benefits that you need. Now also, I went with doTERRA because they believe that to get the best quality of product, you need to harvest where the plants and the fruits indigenously grow. So they go into these countries and they pay the farmers that have been harvesting for, for probably centuries because essential oils date back to uh, the most thing everybody thinks about is the birth of baby Jesus when the wise men brought him frankincense and myrrh. So they've been around for a long time. They don't take, just go in there and take everything. They give back. They provide the jobs. They go in if you need help with um, schools, clean water, things like that. They provide that. So I thought that was awesome, and they also have um, an, on another organization, and I'm so sorry, y'all, I feel like my brain has just completely stopped working, um, Healing Hands Foundation, and they help do a lot of things for women is one thing they do, but I, that's the thing that I talk about because that hits hope closest to home to me. I'm a female. I have a daughter. They go into countries and partner for days with girls, and they provide feminine hygiene products to them, um, information so they can have a better quality of life. So that's one of the reasons that I picked doTERRA. For, well, actually, there's three reasons. Those are the three. Because of the grade of oils and the things they do. And we as uh, wellness advocates or anybody that signs up with doTERRA has an opportunity to contribute to that as well. Every month we can make a donation. So we get to help as well. So I think that was something that was awesome in a company of their size. Uh, they're the number one in the essential oil industry. There are other big companies out there, um, but I think they were my, those were the reasons. I mean, to me, it was a no-brainer, so that's why I went with doTERRA. I got in with a great group of ladies that offer great education. Um, they're all, we're always there for each other. I feel like we're part of a community, and that if we need help, we have somebody that we can go to. Um, we have some great ladies on our team that are um, nurse practitioners, registered nurses, pharmacists, uh, registered dietitians. And they know much more than I do, and they've been a great resource to me. I've learned so much in the, in the last several months with all the educational classes, and I just want to pass that on. I want everybody to know that there's another way. There's oils out there that can aid and assist your body in repairing itself because our body can help heal itself. We just got to give it that help, and all these synthetics that we're putting in our body that our body doesn't know how to use is making us sick, y'all. It's causing autoimmune diseases, um, all other kinds of diseases, allergies, all kinds of things. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> One of my youngins just came home, and uh, he didn't realize Mama was doing a class. <laughs> came home for lunch. It's good to see you, though. <laughs> but um, So I wanted to go over tonight some oils that I like to use. I keep on hand. Um, my kids know where they are, so if something happens, um, they can go to them to get some help. Um, my son that just came in suffers from horrible migraines, so he knows where the oils are for when he needs to use them. Um, and I'm going to talk about an oil tonight that is not in my original emergency oils kit, and that's why I brought it up, which is marjoram. Now, some ladies introduced me to marjoram in the last, um, I guess in the last month. So I got it in my, in my order because this is awesome for pain, for all types of pain. Headache, tension, my son uses this um, in connection with past tense, which is a, a blend that Tara has for his migraines. And when he needs it, he knows what to ask for, what to go get. Um, and now he's grown, um, but he'd rather use this than take an over-the-counter medication because he can see the difference. You're right, Miss Susan. Until you get with a great group of ladies that can help you and you realize the benefits and they, they share all these oils with you, um, you can do many other things besides of getting prescriptions at a drugstore. Um, I started like with allergies, and I started using the lemon, lavender, and peppermint, and I've been able to come off of my Flonase, my Singulair, my Allegra, um, the allergy shots. 
I don't, I don't have to do any of that anymore. And I can use these things in nature that work well with my body. Um, so that I'm so excited about. And so I want to share, I want to tell everybody there's another way y'all, there's other things you can do. And the thing that I do now, this could be good for, you know, you have head tension and there's some other oils that's good for that as well. What I'm using this with right now, I don't get a lot of headaches, but I have a lot of discomfort in my knee from a knee replacement surgery. So I use this along with frankincense, um, and that has been, I just, I've been using them topically. Some of doTERRA oils are so pure, you can take them internally, and you can tell that on here. If the oil has supplemental facts, I'm trying to get it up there close, it'd be an oil that you could take internally. Um, so you could put it in a veggie cap, you can put it in water, and I did not bring my veggie caps in here tonight, but... I just wanted to touch on these two oils um, because these are awesome to use um, if you have chronic pain. Uh, you could use this, say you're outside working in the yard and you pull a muscle. The first thing I'm going to do if that happens to me, which probably isn't going to be anytime soon, I'm going to be working in the yard, but I'm going to go to the marjoram because it really, really has helped me tremendously. Now, the next oil I want to talk about is actually clove, and I do not have any, but I'm going to talk about it. You can use clove topically as an analgesic for pain relief. It also can be used as a drawing salve to pull toxins and infections from your body. It's great to use for acne, uh, constipation, headaches, nausea, and also can help with toothaches. Um, Deterra's toothpaste has clove in it, and I have had the best dental appointment I've had that I cannot tell, tell you since when um, by using the toothpaste. And then I've already talked about frankincense, but I'm going to show you again. And this is, again, a 15 milliliter bottle. It's got 15 drops of oil in it. This actually enhances the effect of any other oil. What I like to do with this is layer it after another oil. So say I put the marjoram on my knee to help with my stiffness and my soreness and the muscles still. Because I've actually had two surgeries um, since June of last year on that same knee. So I have a lot of uh, soft tissue that um, still I have a lot of problems with. I mean, I'm doing a lot better, but this seems to have really, really helped me using this combo. So I'll put the marjoram on first, I'll wait two or three minutes, and then I'll follow it with the frankincense. Um, now also, this also can help with clarity of mind. It accelerates all skin recovery issues. Um, it helps reduce anxiety. It also can help with mental and physical fatigue. Uh, reduces hyperactivity, impatience, irritability, restlessness, and also can help you with focus and concentration. So I feel like really we joke, uh, Amy and I at work, sometimes um, we just need to put all these oils in like one of those plastic um, kids' pools that you can buy at the store and just like roll all in it because it seems like all of these are something we need and that we could use all the time. Um, so, you know... That's the way I feel about frankincense, too. Now, the next one is um, lavender that I'm going to talk about. And, again, these oils that I'm talking about right now all have um, the supplemental facts on them. So, these would be oils that you could take internally as well. Um, but this is lavender. Now, lavender is great for so many, so many things. Beth was telling me, and I know she's on tonight. Um, I... She uses, you can, this can be used also for growing pains for kids, um, so that's great to know. But you also can use it for agitation, um, bruises, burns. Um, you can mix this with the melaleucin. It help you, helps you with leg cramps. It also can help with herpes, heart irregularities, hives, insect bites, um, neuropathy, pa pain, any type of pain. Hey, Naomi, I'm glad you could join us. Um, it also can help with bee sting, sprain, sunburn. Um, I combine this lavender with frankincense and peppermint and aloe vera gel, and I use it um, if I get too much sun. And I'm also going to give you ladies a tip, too. When you shave your legs sometimes, if you, know, you get the little bumps or raise your rash, it's great for that as well. Um, so I wanted to mention that, too. You can use this for, like, sunstroke. Um, this also can help with depression. It can help... Um, with sleep, um, insomnia, and premenstrual syndrome. And this is great because it's a anti natural antihistamine to use in connection with some other oils. And that's what I use for my allergies. I have my little rollerball blend of my 
lavender peppermint and um, lemon and I use that every day now I start using it way before the season starts because I feel like that's when I get the roast most relief this is lavender Naomi um, I get the most relief when I start ahead of time so I'm, I'm, that's what I'm doing don't wait till you're having symptoms so bad you can't stand it if you have already have allergies or chronic you want to start it before it gets bad that way you can kind of like nip it in the bud so I wanted to mention that as well now um, lemon is another great great oil you can use this for colds constipation uh, coughs cuts sluggishness if you have a sore throat you could put this in with some honey or I like to put this in my tea um, so that soothes when I, or if I have some throat discomfort, I'll put some lemon and some honey and some warm tea and drink it. And that helps me a lot as well. It lifts your spirits. It reduces stress and fatigue. Um, it counteracts acidity. So that's great. So it help, can help calm an upset stomach. And it does encourage elimination. And again, it's good for sunburns, wounds. Um, I like it because it just has a clean, fresh scent. I like to clean with it. One of the things that I just, and I don't know why I tried it, um, I can't even explain it, but about two weeks ago, I was in the kitchen, I'm trying to get back into cooking because I'm able to stand on my leg a little bit more, and I was make, cooking some cabbage. I'm steaming down some cabbage, and I was trying to do something else, and I don't like a whole lot of water in it, I'm steaming it down, so I typically keep watching it to add water as it's needed. Well... I, got, I don't know what I was doing, y'all, but the next thing, you know, and as soon as you start smelling it, um, sticking to the bottom of the pan, you're done. So I smelt it. The bottom of my pan was black with where the, it just likes, it's like some of the leaves just stuck right to the bottom. And I don't know what made me do it, but I put a little bit of water in the pan, which is what I typically do. And I put a couple drops of lemon in there. And I let it sit overnight, and the next day I was like, you know what, I'm going to go out here and take this pot out here, and I'm going to get the water hose and see if I can, like, scrape this up or get some of it up. So I set the pot down on the ground, and I put the water on, and I started doing it, and that stuff just peeled right up. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I've never had that done before. And, the, and it's a stainless steel pot, and the stainless steel looks almost, I mean, it's really shiny. It's shinier than it's been, and I couldn't tell you how long, and the, and the um, scorched cabbage came right up. So I was excited about that. You can also use lemon. It's a great detoxifier if you want to put it in with some, like a little pinch of cayenne pepper um, and some Bragg's apple cider vinegar and a little bit of warm water and drink that in the morning. That helps you kind of get your metabolism going and get you, get you all revved up. Now, lemongrass is my next one, and I'm out of that as well, um, but I'm just going to talk about it. Uh, you can use that for sore and cramping muscles. It helps with Charlie horses. You can also use it with peppermint because um, you want to drink lots of water as well, and that helps with the Charlie horses. You can apply it actually to the bottoms of your feet in winter to warm them. And lemongrass is also great for muscular aches and pains, things like fibromyalgia um, can assist with. Um, the. I even, uh, before I was actually putting it, before I ran out, I was actually putting it on my knee as well for the muscular discomfort from the surgery. So um, that's something you can use it for as well. And the next one I'm gonna talk about, it, oh, wrong one, Valerie, is Melaleuca. Now this is also known as tea tree oil, so we've heard a lot about that. This is good for so many things, um, not just to have in your medicine cabinet, but just to have um, overall. It's great antifungal properties. You can use it for bug bites, you can use it for colds and coughs, cuts, um, you can use it in deodorant. Um, it also, um, ear infections, it's great for any type of funguses. Um, you can also use it on your uh, toenails if you know somebody's got any toenail fungus. Um, it's good, it has good my, uh, microbial properties. It's great for psoriasis, rough hands. Um, again, you can combine this with clove to draw out um, slivers in your hands or also um, infection and things like that. Um, this is also great for sore throats as well as wound care. And this is also great too for um, those breakouts, acne that you get. It can help you with that as well. Yeah, lemongrass does smell awesome. Um, I ran out. I was doing a blend for my husband for his hand. I don't know if he's got tendonitis 
or if he's getting, I don't know what's going on with his hand, but right here in the palm of his hand, between these fingers, it's all sunk in. So I've been using lemongrass and some other oils to help with that, and he loves the smell of the lemongrass. He said, man, this, this really smells good, and that's what I smell in it is the lemongrass, so it, it does really smell good. Now the next one is one um, that I never even realized you could do as an essential oil, which is oregano. And I'm sorry, y'all, the glare's bad on these. Um, oh, I didn't know lemongrass is good for busted veins. That's good, so that would be good for, like, varicose veins as well. So that's good to know. I have some of those, too. I think I probably have a little bit of everything. Um, now, this is oregano. Oregano is a hot oil. Um, so when you do it topically, you want to always make sure you dilute it with a carrier oil. Um, and I guess I should have already mentioned that. Uh, for some of the oils when you apply them topically. Um, here's the fractionated coconut oil. Um, this is made by doTERRA, um, but you could use any type of oil. Jojoba, I have some people I know that use olive oil, um, grapeseed oil, vitamin E oil. Um, just There's several other oils, almond oil, that you could use. This just means the molecule is removed so it stays in a liquid state and it doesn't solidify. Um, so that's all that means. And you would, when you use them topically, you want to use a ratio for your age bracket. Like for me, I'm going to dilute it one-on-one. -on -one. I don't have a lot of skin sensitivities. So I don't typically have things that bother me. Um, but if you have a child or an elderly person or a pet, I'm going to be doing a class next month on uh, essential oils and pet care. I've been doing a lot of research on that the last couple of days. And I'm going to be doing a class at the beginning of April. Um, I'll be posting that tomorrow or Saturday um, for essential oils and pets, if you know anybody that may be interested in that for dogs and cats. Um, but you want to dilute it. So this is great for using it as a heavy-duty type of antibiotic. You can use this with a blend of some other oils. We like to call it Flume, which is um, frankincense, lemon, on guard, oregano, <laughs> oregano, and melaleuca. Yeah, I, I put it in veggie caps. I can use it topically. I put it in the diffuser. Oregano doesn't um, bother me as far as the smell goes, so I'm excited about that. But when I feel like something's really coming on, I use it in a combination in a veggie cap because I can't, I can't tolerate it just in water. Um, but it's great um, as a heavy-duty anti antibiotic. Um, you can put it in a rollerball blend and apply it with, on the bottoms of your feet with some of the other oils. Um, you can use lavender and peppermint in connection with it as well. It's great for, to help with fungal infections, for reducing pain and inflammation like arthritis. It also can help with bursitis, backaches, carpal tunnel sy syndrome, sciatica, rheumatism. Again, you always want to dilute it. If you take it internally, this is an oil that's a little bit harder for our body to process, I think, because maybe it's a hot oil. So you don't want to take it, but I'm going to say seven days in a row. I don't know if that's the norm, but that's what I'm going to say because that's all I've used it before you give your body a little bit of a break for it, for taking it internally. But I'm also going to tell you what. I have used this for, um, and I know this, I've used it to aid and assist my body with MRSA. Um, years back, I had some surgery, and I never had a problem with that, and then all of a sudden, I started having problems uh, to the point where I was having to go to surgeons, and they were having to go into them, and they were having to be packed, and things like that, and I had a couple pretty, pretty bad ones, and when, and I never thought to use the oils. Um, even after I started using them for my allergies, and then one day I got another one, and to the point where with my surgery, they don't want me to shave at all because they don't want any irritation on my skin um, because I've had so many uh, MRSA and staph infections before. So I use this and the Melaleuca and Frankincense in a rollerball blend and I put that on, I usually do, especially since I've had the surgery, I usually put that on the bottom of, of my feet every night for about seven days. Then I take a break for about seven days. And I've been doing that consistently. And I haven't had, I'm knocking on my table, it's wood, a uh, staph or Mercer infection or something that a surgeon has had to go into for probably about nine months now. So I'm excited about that. So that's another great use of, for this oil as well. 
Now the other one I want to talk about is peppermint. Peppermint is a great oil. Uh, you can use this for topical pain. It's good for bumps, bruises. You can use it for circulation. If you have a fever, you can uh, dilute this with a carrier oil and you can put it on the bottoms of your feet. You're going to have to reapply oils uh, more often than if you take something over the counter because these go to work very quickly in your body. Um, within minutes, they've reached all the cells in your body. It may, so, you, like for example, if you had a fever, you may need to apply this every 20 minutes to a half an hour till you get your fever down. It's not just good, and then you may have to reapply it more often. But then again, this is something natural. The smell of it is just awesome to me. Um, I love just to smell this and the lemon and, and all the citrus oils. I just love all the citrus oils. But peppermint is great. It opens up um, your airways. Um, you know, you can use it as, it has just, it's versatile because you can use it for help with seasonal allergies, seasonal threats. It can aid assist your body. You can, it can help you with nausea, motion sickness, uh, nerve problems. Um, if you have any vomiting, um, it can help you aid in indigestion, headaches, um, fever. It's great for circulation as well because it's more of a warmer oral. Again, it can be used as a topical analgesic. Um, so it just has great oils. You can drink it in your tea. You can put it, um, you can gargle with it to help freshen your breath. You can put drops under your tongue to help freshen your breath. And it also is great to me for mood enhancement. Just some of these oils, when you smell them, you just feel better. I mean, as soon as you start smelling them, you just feel better and it kind of can make you alert and more focused. So peppermint is a great oil. Um, I use a lot of it, lemon, and lavender. I use the lavender a lot. Oh, quick side note. Lavender also, if you used to use dryer sheets, you know they're horrible for you. You can get the dryer balls because my kids love the lavender. And at the end of the uh, cycle in your dryer, put a couple of drops of this on a dryer ball, throw it in the cycle, say the last 10 minutes, you won't have any static, and your clothes will not only be fluffy, they'll smell great as well. So that's something else um, I like to use that for. Now the other one that I'm going to talk about real quickly um, is the massage blend of the Aromatouch. I love this because it can re reduce stress. Um, it helps reduce anxiety for me, I'll be honest. The peppermint you're talking about, Miss Susan, that you use in your shampoo, and it's good for your hair and your scalp. Wow, I didn't know that. I bet it would be. Or lavender as well. It could be lavender you're speaking of. But yeah, that would, I bet that would be good. I've before, like, put a couple drops in the shower, like when I go to get in the shower, like in the shower floor, you can do that with eucalyptus too to help to help open you up or the peppermint. And it just makes your shower smell so good when you're in there uh, taking a shower. I feel like it just gets on my skin and makes me uh, makes me smell even better. Um, <laughs> yes, and lavender. But um, this can, again, this can be used. It's also great for anti-inflammation. Um, it enhances uh, any type of massage, the smell of it. It does actually smell really good. This is a blend of oils. This would be an oil you do not take internally because it's a blend. And if you notice, it does not have supplemental facts. It still has our um, certified pure therapeutic grade on here. And it still has on the bottom, well, you can't really see it, but um, the coating and the expiration date. But this would be not be an oil you take internally. This would be for topical um, topical use only. Um, but it's great too. I did start out um, before I went to the marjoram and frankincense using this um, for the inflammation in my knee. I'm not having so much inflammation anymore, but I just have a lot of still kind of discomfort. So um, I like to use that a lot. Another great oil is Deterra's Respiratory Blend, which is the Breathe. This again is a blend. So this you would not take internally. It does not have supplemental facts. Um, I like to use this um, to enhance if I'm having a particularly rough day um, with seasonal threats. I like to use this to enhance the effect of my lemon, lavender, and peppermint. This is also great if you're having a lot of um, chest problems and issues. Um, you, could put, you could put this on. They make this in a stick as well, and I don't have that in here. 
that you could rub on your chest. I like to use that on my grandson when he comes over. Um, if he's um, got, you know, gunk and stuff going on. I like to put this in the diffuser at night as well because it just keeps your airways open. Um, so that's another great, um, it can, you can aid for the asthma, bronchitis, um, respiratory distress, flu. This is also going to help with anxiety and it's great for uh, those seasonal threats as well. Now, one oil that I have fell in love with is the Deep Blue. Now, this is doTERRA Soothing uh, Blend. This is great for pain relief as well. And again, this is a blend of oils. Um, does not have supplemental facts. And this is a five milliliter bottle, and so is um, the, the Soothing Blend. So they're a little bit smaller than the other bottles. And instead of, they have about 75 to 80 drops in those. Um, but this is great, again, for pain relief. It works well in cases of arthritis, um, bruising, carpal tunnel. It can be used for headaches, inflammation, joint pain, migraines, muscle pain, sprains, rheumatism. Uh, you can follow it with um, peppermint, a Hansen effect. Yes, yeah, Serenity and Breathe would be great in a diffuser at night. Your dog loves it. My dog's actually, and I'm going to talk about that in my class. Um, I don't know if your dog uh, is scared of storms and stuff. We have two, and they are. So what I like to do is Serenity and Balance in a diffuser when any storms and stuff's coming up, calms them right down, and they do too. Um, I, you see them walking around the house, and you can tell a difference in them. And the citrus oils are very uplifting, and if they're like kind of sluggish and laying around, I put those citrus oils in the diffuser, and they get up, and they're all playful and ready to bounce around. So definitely um, essential oils do have effect on animals, and I'm going to talk some more about that next month. If that's a class you might be interested in, and joining, uh, it's going to be on Facebook Live as well. Now, the Soothing Blend, which is the Deep Blue, also comes in a rub. Um, this is great as well on the go. It's a nice cream. It has a pretty blue tint. And I like to take this with me. Um, sometimes, instead of mixing it uh, with a carrier oil, the, the, the oil itself, this is really handy, especially if you're at work or something of that nature it's great for that to carry with you so i did want to mention that a lot of people love this for sciatic and it helps with that and lower back pain um, so that's a great one too and a lot of athletes use this as well um, that work out and body build and lift and things like that it helps um, helps them as well now another one i want to talk about that i absolutely love is the digest zen this is good for all digestive issues. If you have any type of bloating, uh, constipation, diarrhea, if you have anything like an aid and assist like with food poisoning, um, heartburn, indigestion, motion sickness, nausea, stomach ache. Um, it also works good on children or babies for diaper rash. And it also, believe it or not, um, I, I keep this in a roller ball blend with me. It's great if you're congested. Um, when my kids or myself are really congested as well, if you like put it down your nose and across here, just make sure you don't get it in your face, uh, in your eyes or your ears, you know, or up your nose. Just be cautious of that. But it really opens you up. Now, to me, um, my kids don't necessarily love the smell of this. To me, it, it smells like licorice. Um, but when they're really congested, especially Jared, he'll say, Mama, come, I need that stuff that I don't really like the smell of. And it, he just it opens him right up. So it works really great. Uh, works really great for that. A lot of people also like to use this on their throat and down the top of their chest and it can help and assist with acid reflux and things like that. Another great oil is... Mm, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. It's my protective blend. Now this is a combination of some oils as well. Um, but I do, I do love it because there's so many things um, that you can do with it. And you can take it as a supplement as well. You can take this internally. Oh, you have an English Bulldog. Okay. Oh, well, I'm glad your Bulldog's name, Ella. I have a Bulldog. Um, mine is the American Bulldog, so she's the tall dog. They used to can be considered I think the old English or something like that but she's the taller dog and um, 
So she's white. So I got a bulldog too. So we're bully owners. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I'm excited about the class as well. Um, I hadn't actually thought about it, but another girl that I'm helping with, um, her son with uh, ADHD, um, mentioned that um, some people had asked her about using oils for pets. So I did some research, so I'm excited to do that as well. Um, I can't wait for that. I've learned a lot of great things, um, so I'm excited, especially since my bulldog has some issues. She actually got a skin tag, believe it or not, right there on her, her little lip. So I'm excited that I know now what to use and how to use it to, to get rid of that for her. Now, the protective blend is great because you can disinfect surfaces with it. It helps eliminate um, mold and viruses. It can help boost your immune system. Um, it's great for environmental threats. Oh, yours is a baby. Her name's, oh, okay, Tess. My, my bully's name is Lily, and she's five. Um, and she's a little bitch. They have their own little personalities, don't they? She's going to be an old, grumpy grandma dog. I see it coming now. So I have to figure out what I, I'm going to use, what oils I'm going to go ahead and have stocked up for her because I think she's going to be a grouchy grandma. <laughs> um, this is good for just so many things. You can put it in a diffuser. You can take it internally. Uh, you can make a cleaning solution with it. You can make foam and hand wash. Um, these, the oils like this that um, help cleanse and purify, they only kill the bad bacteria, not the good. The hand soaps that you buy in the stores that are antibacterial kill all the bacteria on your body. Well, we need the good bacteria. So that's what I love about this, and it also smells great. This just has a great aroma, and it's great to have on hand to use if somebody gets sick or somebody's been in your house and the bathroom said they get sick, you can clean with this. Um, Deterra does have a clean and concentrate um, that you can mix and spray, or you can make your own using uh, just the oil and the drops, and as well as they have a foam and hand wash. So it's really great to have on hand for things like that. Now, the cleansing blend um, is the next one I'm going to talk about. This is great to use for airborne pathogens. You can put it in your diffuser to help clean the air. Another side note for this um, that I'm going to talk about because I learned about it recently and I just started doing it, so I'm excited about that, is if you use the Purify and the Melaleuca together, and you know when you clean your air filters in your house, you have to change them out. Uh, you know, you can buy the replaceable air filters or the one we have in our house is the type that you spray a solution on and clean. I can't think of the name of it. And you just put it back in and you kind of like reuse it. Uh, it's I don't know if it's metal or steel or something like that. But anyway, uh, what I learned is if you use the Melaleuca and Purify together, you can put like, now don't do it so it sucks it up in my air returns and my sealant but put it on the, the bottom part when you put it up in. And if you put some drops of these on there uh, when you clean your air filter, um, it can help um, assist with killing the airborne pathogens in your heating and air conditioning ducts, like the molds and the spores and things like that. So I was really excited about that. Um, so I wanted to share that tonight as well. I know that's kind of a side thing, but when you've got problems and I've often wondered my house was built back in the 70s and I often wonder is there some stuff up in those ducts that I'm not getting so I was excited to to start using this now this is also good for insect bites um, if you're having any type of itching uh, wounds and this also can help boost your immune system and just help clear up the air this is good to use also I learned from watching a class Julie did the other day to clean the air as well and that can help you um, with the allergies and things like that. So that was good to know as well. So if you suffer from that, that may be something you want to get and try in the air as well because you know when you go in, when you're outside, you get the pollen and the, the particles and everything on your clothes, on your shoes, your pets have them, and you kind of track them all in. So you can be putting things on, but it's nice to kind of clear, clean the air as well. And the last one I'm going to talk about is the Repellent Blend, which is the Terra Shield. Now, I just got this um, this month in my LRP order. I hadn't had it, so I was excited to get that. Uh, 
you know, mosquitoes are going to be worse this year than ever, so they're out, and just gnats and bugs, and uh, my husband likes to fish, so we go out on the boat and at the lake and camping and different, and different things, so it's just nice to have this. This helps deter all flying insects and ticks um, from human bodies, and also um, you can use this on your pets as well, I found out, so I'm excited about that as well, uh, that you can do that. I have never used this yet, but I'm excited to try it. Um, so that's something new um, that I haven't had before. There also, it comes in like a little pump sprayer as well, if that's something. I got the oil because I'm going to, we already have some of the little pump sprayers, and I'm just going to uh, mix it myself. And this would, again, be an oil that would best be used topically. Um, you can reapply it every four to six hours. It has directions on there. Um, and it does not have supplemental fat, so you need to be cautious of that. Just be um, aware and look on your oils to make sure some can be taken internally, some can't. And I also, this is just me from doing my research, I wouldn't in recommend ingesting any oils unless they're doTERRA. I mean, anything that you purchase from any anywhere else, I would not suggest doing that at all. Yeah, Ms. Susan, that's what I'm talking about. Put them on the outside of your air filters and you can put some oils on them. It's great, too, if you don't just want to clean it. You just want to have a scent go through your house. I've done that before with the wild orange because I'm just crazy about it. I love, I love all the citrus oils. They just have such a cr crisp, clean scent and can just uplift you and make you feel so good. I just love, um, I just love using them all. Well, those are the only oils that I wanted to talk about Um Tonight, this to have on hand for emergencies um, that you can use for just a variety of different reasons and practices. Um, if, you're, if you've not used essential oils before, you're new to them, um, you want to try them, uh, you just need some help getting started, looking for some education. Um, Amy and Beth and I um, are essentially Obsessed Life. We have a Facebook page um, that you can like. We all three do classes. Um, we are doTERRA wellness advocates. We can do one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. We'd love to tell you how you can get these oils in your home at um, the best price because um, certainly you want to get the most for your money. doTERRA has a loyalty rewards program where you can earn points and actually get free oils. Who doesn't want to get stuff free? Um, so there's some great things you can do. Also, if you join... Um, with a wholesale membership with doTERRA and you join under Beth, Amy, or myself, you have access not only to us, but all of our resources, which are also closed Facebook groups that other people don't have. So if you need help with something and we're not immediately available, or you just want to reach out to see if somebody's having the same specific problem that you are, um, you can go in there 24 hours a day and ask a question in these closed groups. We have great educational things we do. We have some resources that we can tell you about. Um, this is just one of the books. I didn't bring the other one in here. Um, that you can actually literally look up some problems that you're having. And let me see if I can get it open to the page. You would know I can't. Um, and let me just go to something. All right, I'm just going to go here. You can find out about different oils. It lists the oil and tells you about it and all its properties and some different things you can do. You can look up things um, by, say, sim symptoms you're having. Um, I just opened to this page, so I'm just going to go right to it. And I actually talked about uh, this tonight. You can It talks about the oils you can use, how to apply them. There's recipes in some of the books. So these are just great um, resources to have as well as us as resources and we have great um i'm sorry all my ipads fallen and then we have the great people that are in uh, business with us that have um some medical background and some knowledge that assists us as well um so we want to help you want to help you the best we can so contact one of us if you want to try the oils you want to sign up with a wholesale membership Believe it or not, the best-selling product doTERRA has is not the oils. It's actually their vitamins, the Lifelong Life Vitality Pack. I don't have those in here tonight, but they were a game-changer for me, along with some of the other products um, to use to help. I mean, I forgot to take them a couple of days, and literally, you can tell the difference. 
Um, I did have to take them for about two months before um, I noticed. But, you know, these aren't miracle cures. This isn't going to keep you from ever having to go to a doctor or replace um, your need to go if you need to. I'm not saying that. These are just things you can do to aid and assist your body that can empower you to have choices. Y'all, there's so many things in this world we can't do anything about. But this is something you have control over. Um, so certainly, you know, why not? Why not embrace these oils that God put on this earth to help us and and use them and use them smart. Be smart about it, y'all. I mean, if you burn yourself or you cut yourself and your hand is gashed open, go to the emergency room. Don't don't try to message somebody and say, what do I need to do if you're hurting that bad or or you fall off your house or you're cutting limbs and something happens, you know, if you need to seek medical attention, please seek medical attention. But these are some things you can do to help you in other ways. So I'm actually going to be doing still some Facebook Live classes. I've got one coming up next week about um, women's health and some things going on with women. I'm going to do a class um, on essential oils and pets. I'm also going to be uh, at Firehouse Subs here in Dublin in their banquet room. Y'all, I didn't even know they had a banquet room, but they do. It's over there um, to the side um, across from the counter. They have a banquet room. I'm going to be there the last three Saturdays in April at 2 o'clock. I'm going to be doing uh, just a basics of essential oils class all three days of there. I'm going to be there every Saturday in May at 2 o'clock um, just doing a basic essential oils 101 class. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be doing able to go there continuing on and maybe start doing other classes but I wanted to start with the basics class for people that maybe didn't want to watch a class on Facebook live or they have watched and they want to come do an in-person class and be able to see the oils and smell them and touch them not just see um, see us doing the education um, on live so I'm going to be there if you know somebody that may be interested come out please come out and join me I'd be love to share uh, what I know, I don't know everything, y'all, but we can work together and we can learn about some things we don't know about together and just help each other and be a community of, of people just wanting to help and empower other women or other men and our families just to have a better life, a healthier lifestyle. So I appreciate you watching me tonight. Um, Please, again, if one of us can help you, please let us know. When you join our team, I like to tell everybody helps only a question away. Um, so if you have any questions, um, please let me know. You can message me on Facebook um, on my page, or you can join us on Essentially Obsessed Life, like our page, and ask us any questions there. Amy, Beth, or I will be more than happy to help you. And thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it, and you all have a great evening. Bye-bye.